Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jimmy McMahon and with me is the Moonlighting Bastard, Gorilla Metal. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's me, Gorilla Metzo. I'm here, and look at this. We got the blue lights on for Stand Firm, but we don't got the blues, even though we're in Biloxi and Missouri, Missouri. I don't know why I said that twice. Anyway, yeah, it's Stand Firm. It's a show on the JFW. It's all right. Let's go to work, Jim. Yep. Uh, probably should have put the uh, headphones on and stuff for you, shouldn't I? Oh, dear. No oh boy. It's alright, I'll well, do it now. Alright, well, while we're waiting on that first matchup tonight is a big man, little man challenge. We are seeing Plain White Toast return to action after Flick. He went on his own to try and win the World Heavyweight Championship and failing. He's getting his old friend, Le Bread Mask, the Friday fuckboy, back. And look at the other side, a former champion himself, Adonta Kellis is adopting the now uh, off on his lonesome chunter, the fucking rat, <laughs> losing his tag team partner. And uh, here we go. Um, I'm just hearing all sorts of weird shit in the background. I'm just <laughs> laughing at that picture of Flicky Flack because I deleted his secondary attire and it made his picture that. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to look cool, Jim. He's trying to look cool. He certainly is. Wow. Well. Okay. But yeah, the fucking rats no more. Chunter, the only employed JFW wrestler from that tag team, going to team up tonight. But will Adonta Kellis, not used to tag team matches, be able to hang with him? Let's find out right now. All right. Okay. Lucha, Lucha, that's on. Um, bear with me while I change. Gorilla. No one can hear you, Gorilla. No one can hear you. <laughs> no, don't do that! <laughs> what if they can? Cut. Cut. Right, Cut. it's alright now. They can hear you. Oh, oh, did you fix it? Oh, whoops, sorry. Oh, they should be able to. <laughs> oh, well, I'm getting yelled at from the kitchen. <laughs> Yo, sorry, I thought I thought no one could hear me, so I mean I figured I that would be I the can't quickest way. Gorilla even. You can't hear me? Who can hear me right now? Right, now I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear yep. me. Okay, I can hear me. Alright, I think we're good. No more saying cunt, let's get the show on. Ah oh, damn it, sorry. <laughs> 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 All right, well, here comes Adonta Kellis, former heavyweight champion, recently um, drawn out of that cave in the middle of the woods in Germany that Dark took place in, <laughs> uh, confirmed alive, and back to wrestle tonight. Yep. <laughs> yeah, sorry about all the technical difficulties, folks. This is uh, something we don't have to deal with on Wednesday nights at my uh, other job. But it uh, looks like uh, that's No one cares about that, Gorilla. No one cares about that. Um, all right, fair enough. You know what, fair enough. We are here for JFW action tonight. So, uh, you know, let's uh, let's get on with it, I guess. And uh, here's focus a match. on that. Yeah, here's a, here's, a, here's a match between two guys that aren't really tag teams teaming up tonight. It's going to be exciting. Very Definitely exciting. going to be a good match. Definitely. It's the Friday Night Fuckboy himself. <laughs> yeah, and there you go, folks. This is the kind of action you get on the JFW. The bread mask to open your show. <laughs> get excited. And if he doesn't excite you, his tag team partner absolutely will. <laughs> Oh, dear. I like Unseen's rivalry with Ordot. <laughs> oh, yeah, the bread mask's pretty amazing. Yep, 
Yeah, sorry, Fliggy, for I'll get your old pause back. I don't know why it changed. <laughs> Some form of horrible nightmare. I don't know what you're talking about, Sludge Games. This is the this is the best the best wrestling show not only on Twitch but in the world right now is the JFW. It's glorious. And he is the most electrifying No, he's not really electrifying, is he? Most interesting No, he's not really interesting. He is not someone I would classify as electrifying, no. No. He is certainly in the JFW, though. And recently recently main evented a pay-per-view. <laughs> That's what the JFW has on offer, folks. <laughs> He's definitely a man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this going. The two smaller guys, the Bread Mask and Chunter, starting us off tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's very good, Moradon. Look at this, Moradon wanting to be on the uh, <laughs> wanting to be on the commentary team, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if he just gets electrocuted. Well, Jimmy Fantastic, of course, is the most electrifying man in sports. Sports the most electrifying. I would argue that uh, shit co-founder Tarsus would be the most <laughs> electrifying man. Uh, Jim, Jimmy Minmax Tastic, just the most electrified man. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Chunterino and uh, Chunterino and a don't looking like a pair of furries here, aren't they? <laughs> oh, hey, one. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, uh, that's uh, that 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 could be all it takes to get them over as a tag team. We know uh, the upper management around yeah. these parts definitely uh, def definitely has a thing for uh, teaming up two guys <laughs> that no one wants to look at. <laughs> As evidenced by this opening match here on Friday, stand firm. Oh yeah. <laughs> and he's in. And here comes Flicky Flack himself. Again, in all fairness to Flicky Flack, the second that bell rings, he becomes a different sort of animal uh, and is pretty watchable, all things considered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Chinny's gonna struggle without Funta. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a matchup uh, we've all seen before: a Dante Kellis Flicky Flack, pretty good one. Oh, Whoa. what a power bomb! Look at that power bomb right onto the shell. <laughs> oh, Jeff, have you dirty Dino? <laughs> Go from sloth to snail. <laughs> I'll see you yet. <laughs> you can't have two people on commentary saying yep. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, it'd been better than what Double Double he offered a lot of years. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh, what's this? Another power bomb. Oh my goodness. Absolute manhandling right now by Flicky Flack to Adonta Kellis, but he seems to have recovered okay. <laughs> Oh, takes out the bread mask. <laughs> Strategic move for the non-tag team player and gets that backbreaker in. It was fucking awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. <sighs> and then Stumps says this. Looks like the bread mask is back up calling for that tag. Wants a little revenge on Adonta Kellis here. But uh, not looking like it's coming. No, unlike me, after I beat Sergo. <laughs> <laughs> you ended up. How did you end up winning that game? I missed the last two turns. Um, just bought the ball. I, I got time to listen. There's nothing going on here. Yeah, just bought the ball. I got an amazing stun on him because he's armor eight shitter, and then I uh, just stole the ball and ran away. <laughs> that was it. Uh, he did get a back of Black Hawk in defense, but I managed to uh, dodge double GFI without a reroll to tag him. <laughs> Which is nice. Oh, well, I didn't dodge double G fan. I just did a series of one dices. Oh, look at this. Chunter's going crazy. It was a series of one dices, one dices and two dices to uh, free somebody up to uh, tag him. Fair enough. And here comes another quick tag to Adonta Kellis. Oh, top rope action coming here. Oh, boy, look, look at this team up. 
Oh, into the power bomb. Beautiful maneuver. And uh, suddenly, a Dante Kellis and Chunter really, uh, really showcasing some uh, some tag team acumen, as we like to call it. Yeah, but will it be too little, too lit? Just yeah, Flicky already on his feet and rallying here. You can tell because Jim is barely conscious. <laughs> yep. Oh boy, oh. this is exciting. The shell uh. buster there. <laughs> And then, oh, oh one in return. <laughs> Sergo will not be injured. I, I uh, he has, he's never going to pass any of the uh, performance enhancing uh, <laughs> stipulations that uh, <laughs> that are required for any sort of uh, professional competition in the wrestling world. Here oh, we calling go. for the Adonta bomb now. Here we go. Is Lebred Mask? He's going to have to save this match, I think, Jim. He might do, but uh, Flicky Flack's a hell of a competitor. He might, he might be able to kick out. Well, he took some time putting that pin in, but here it comes. Oh, no, and yeah, LeBred Mask right there. <laughs> oh, man! Adonta <laughs> Kellis is just laying out uh, uh, LeBred Mask at any opportunity. <laughs> he is. He's beating the, beating the shit out of him. And digging those claws in on that headlock there. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, a little bit tired. I did only have yeah, five I hours. Tell. I, I, I can tell, Jim. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's uh, not quite the action that'll keep you up like we saw on Wednesday night, but it's still a good match. Four, four very solid competitors all of which have been champion except for Flicky Flack, actually. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned Wednesday, but I actually was in bed while that was on, so that was, uh, you know, that was even Oh, better. yeah, well, you know, night off. Did you enjoy the show, though, Jim? It was all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought, I thought you might have really enjoyed that show. Good to hear that you loved it. <laughs> oh, and there's the code breaker to bust open Flicky Flack. <laughs> And uh, no, LeBred Mask too quick for both of these guys in yeah. breaking up these pins. He's really keeping us alive here, and he's going to pay for it right now. <laughs> Ranger Ooh. roll there or something. Oh, man, a daunt. Just <laughs> taking all the time in the world. Ah, uh, Unseen, I'm sure you loved it. <laughs> Congratulations on your win. Congratulations on going to the next round. Eliminating the boss, Tarsus, co-founder of shit. Not to go too off the rails here, Jim. But, uh, yeah, co-founder Tarsus eliminated from contention in the first round by Unseen Walker. Yeah, we, we probably shouldn't mention that show too much, uh, Gorilla. Uh, yeah, you know, fair, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I am on, I'm on the payroll here at JFW. We want to push JFW instead of a competing stream like the one that showcased, uh, you know, on this exact stream. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a. I mean, that's it, neither here nor there. It's a hard right. sell for the whole KFM thing, but you know. Well, no, 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 that's not true, Jim. Admin because admin just like <laughs> in the real world, SmackDown and Raw compete all the time on opposite nights on the same channel by ah. the same company. Oh, ah, okay. So, yeah, good point. So when you think about it that way. <laughs> <laughs> yep, talking about shit. That's true, dumb Dave. Yeah, Dave was the winner who didn't get a uh, Give me fired. fantastic shit at this game. And it's a... F <laughs> shit is a... Uh, is a show full of losers. Oh my god, it's the it's the people's elbow from LeBred Mask. Look at this, LeBred Mask. Oh no, it's not, he did this. this what the no, hell? No, he's into his standing moonsault and the pin attempt here. Not even a one kill. <laughs> 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 Hopefully not, Antsy. He definitely has that power. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Luckily, uh, any sway Jim might have over uh, his uh, disdain for shit is countered by the fact that they have to keep me happy to keep me on JFW programming. <laughs> oh, dear. And top rope, here comes Le Plim Plum Bluzer, Le Bread Mask, the Friday fuckboy. What's he gonna do? He's sizing him up. Here it comes. Whoa. Oh, look at that, the 720 or something. 580, yeah. 470. 
Doesn't matter, it's a lot of numbers, and that's gonna 1080 be 1080 snowballing. Look oh, at that! God. Pins the former world heavyweight champion. His bloody tag partner celebrates. You gotta really hand it to LeBred Mask. He was the MVP of that match, if you're asking me. Yeah. Um <laughs> Oda really went after him and now you know why. He was he proved instrumental in winning it. For Absolutely. The, uh, and I know Jim, you hate when I talk about this stuff, but big news. I'm being told right now by, via text, LeBred Mask will be featured on shit in the Spiro Mezzo's High Intensity Tournament next Wednesday, 8 p.m. UTC. His mystery opponent is someone who has never wrestled for any promotion before. Oh, very exciting. Absolutely. Well, like you say, you can call the shit members uh, losers all you want, but it looks like LaBred Mask is a big winner, and he is taking his talents to shit next week. <laughs> he will be still representing the JFW, of course. <laughs> but let's see what he's got on offer next week. 8 p.m. UTC. UTC. No, Ancy, no. And the only, the only shit gear out there, I believe, are just those rostered by shit. Not, yeah. a, not any of the freelancers coming aboard, because shit, from what I'm told, is uh you know completely equal opportunity anyone from any federation can uh can compete in it yeah anyway sorry sorry again sorry again i i know i'm going off on a tangent here just you know a little exciting it's the biggest news in wrestling of the week jim well second after the jfw thanks very much oh yeah what breaking news out of the jfw do we have Ooh, that we've got a st we've got a cage match between ansi and ghoul face killer a cage match how original falling on the heels of the cage match on wednesday in the scurimetso <laughs> high intensity tournament here we go two plim plum pluserweights libret or excuse me antsy <laughs> and ghoul face killer the former champ <laughs> Oh, God, you know, we could pick up Brock Lesnar as a free agent, couldn't we? That'd be a pretty cool storyline to have. Shit. <laughs> if only, only hadn't had it on... That's a great idea. If Brock Lesnar showed up and shit. I don't think we can afford him, Jim. We're basically wrestling out of a high school gym. That's not a bad idea, is it? We should definitely do something with... With, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we should definitely do something with uh, free agent Brock Lesnar. Oh my God, Make it topical. I don't, I don't know if I entirely agree. Make it topical. Make well, him like Gilbert. I'm going to let you talk for a bit. I just got handed uh, mixers from a... My girlfriend's making cookies, so I'm eating cookie dough <laughs> off of a mixer tong right now. Oh my God, he could be confused with Marcel! <laughs> 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 That's pretty great. Yeah, well, the JFW. Uh, I've, ju I've just got a, I've just got a text message here from the boss, and he says JFW are in talks with Brock Lesnar, so we'll see what happens there. Well, hopefully he doesn't get a counter offer from someone else, but because uh, you, you know he likes to drive up the price. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, uh, money is no object in the JFW because we don't have any and we don't make any. How <laughs> <laughs> FWE? <laughs> This is going to be interesting, isn't it? A cage match. Don't know why we're doing a cage match, but we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know those, pl you know the plim plum loserweight division. A lot of high flyers. You put them in a cage, and some uh, some sparks can really fly, Jim. Yeah. Maybe if you fill in this uh, FWE, if you fill that in, maybe there's no promises. Because uh, we got to work out. Yeah, we got a pretty full. We're at like 90 cause at this point for the JFW. Always adding more. Generally speaking, though, you sign up on that sheet. You hang out for a few of our live shows, which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. UTC. Uh, and uh, we'll, uh, you know, we'll put in who we can put in as they go. The more 
the more uh, participating you are in the show, the uh, <laughs> better chances you got of making the roster. I lost my words there. Anyway, yeah. back to this cage match. <laughs> Antsy had a shot at the Plim Plom Pluserweight Championship at our last pay-per-view. <laughs> he was geared up to go against Muppet Pac-Man one-on-one. -on -one. Muppet getting stripped of his title in a match the Friday before that pay-per-view. <laughs> So I'm just laughing at Tony saying you can get a gym guarantee, which is the same as no guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, look at this. Here Whoa. goes GF, uh, GFK. These agile guys, they can climb real fast, as evidenced by GFK not doing that right now. Oh, dear. Uh, it's Google Docs, isn't it? You just fill it in. And he has to come back down off the cage there, and we are back. Oh, no. Countered. Beautiful counter by GFK on to Ansi here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Marcel, oh. it took Marcel a while, didn't it? I remember. You know, if you scroll down, there's a line that says like, you know, description, whatever. If you've if you've got a good description and stuff, it's easier, but you'll just be added to the list really at the moment because the space is so limited with 199 megabyte limit, which we've just discovered. Yeah. Oof. This is uh... anyway. Ghoulface Killer taking it too antsy here. Look at this beautiful Frankensteiner. This is another. Yeah. This is another two wrestlers where if you combine them, you can make a proper outfit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, sends him into the cage. That's gonna cheese grate your back there, Ghoulface Killer. Not happy about that one. Antsy trying to get something going here. <laughs> Missing wildly with his kick. <laughs> Oh, humor is I don't know if you've got to be signed into Google, maybe. <laughs> he did oh. the headbutt. Yeah, the drop down headbutt there. Now he's thinking, no, he's going to keep fighting here. Remember, cage matches make basically no sense. You can just win by a normal match stipulation. But yeah. it's more fun when you try and climb out. Let's see if Ghoulface Killer can do that right now. Trying to find his footing. Yep. Yeah, he's almost got a foothold. I've just realized yeah, no. it, it, it might not work on mobile, right? That's one thing, isn't it? It might not work on mobiles at all. And uh, and you might have to be signed into Google. Right? Sorry, I just thought I'd try to clarify. I'm, I'm falling asleep here, to be honest. Yeah, I know. I know. I know how that action in the JFW can treat you sometimes, Jim. Don't worry <laughs> about it. I'll carry us through this one. We'll get you something exciting next week, maybe around 8 p.m. on Wednesday, UTC. Yep. <laughs> Lawn darts him into that middle turnbuckle there. Antsy now going for the pinfall on Ghoulface Killer. <laughs> Two count by the ref. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> anyway, there you go. Oh, look at that beautiful maneuver into that that neck breaker there of some kind. No, and now this Antsy could be. Try and climb out. He's got his climbing shoes on, folks. I think no, he's, no, he's going to stay in. Drops the elbow. <laughs> oh, oh. Antsy saying, "Screw climbing. I'll just keep beating on this asshole." Yeah. And now he's thinking about it. Ah, oh, they look so stupid trying to climb. Yep. I mean, about as stupid as they look in real life, right? It, well, yeah. Yeah. And he, Antsy is up. He's up on the He's on half that off. trestle there. All he has to do now is fall to his left. Looks like he's pulling himself back in. Ghoulface barely <laughs> providing resistance here. <laughs> Just enough. And now he's got him by the leg. He's going to try and drag him back in. It looks like he's going to succeed here. Oh, Antsy might be going for a bit of a fall. Oh. oh. Who's going to fall off this cage side here? Oh, it, it could be Antsy. He's down. 
Ghoulface Killer now trying to get his footing and get back up and over. <laughs> and there it is. He's found it. He's up. Can he get his oh, uh, that left leg over? It's really hard. Oh, I think his pants got caught, Jim. That's the only <laughs> thing that could possibly stop him now. No, here comes Ansi to try and grab him one more time. Oh, the coffee has arrived, Jim. The coffee has arrived. Oh, he's kicked oh, him no. off. Oh. oh, he's kicked him off. I think that's going to be it. I think Ghoulface has this. It's got to be it. Well, you say that. <laughs> Unless it's the worst match of all time. Well, this is uh, Friday night stand firm, but tonight it looks like logic and reason will somewhat continue with us, and Ghoulface Killer will win this cage match. Unbelievable, Jim. Glorious coffee. <laughs> I bet Ansi feels a bit robbed there. He seemed in control for the the entire match, didn't he? And then he did. His mistake was trying to compete in a cage match when he already had his opponent pretty much beat. He could have just laid it into him a little bit more <laughs> and pinned him. I think, Jim. Yeah, maybe. Well, big result for GFK. I haven't seen him in a while since he lost the belt. Absolutely. It looks like GFK could be the guy uh, to go after um, just Joe's title. Try and get his rematch there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, very good. Oh, and now we've got the handicap match of... Satterfield versus the dastardly Corporate AF. Corporate AF, as they've been called by the audience, yeah. One half of the heart and soul of the JFW, uh, Satterfield, the uh, the unnatural snacker, getting put in a handicap match against the reigning two heads champions. Yeah. Yep. And uh, later on tonight in the main event, we will see Johnny Five, the other half of the heart and soul of the uh, of the JFW, the Unnatural Snaggers, against the World Heavyweight Champion. Tony plays poorly, one on one match. No managers out there for that one. Should oh. be a good time. Well, Gorilla, um, we've just got we've just got word from backstage that something's kicking off backstage. Oh, let's get a camera back there, Jim. Let's get a camera oh, back there right oh, now. Oh, here it is. Here it is, it's on. Oh, no, it, hey, that's Muppet Pac-Man. That's the former <laughs> Plim Plum Blizzerweight champion who got robbed, in my opinion, going after Just Joe backstage. Look at that. Muppet Pac-Man has returned, fired at the last pay-per-view in the Royal Rumble, and he is back tonight to exact revenge, but it doesn't look like it's going so well for him. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, and he, oh, now he's got control, though, here. What's Muppet going to do? Sends him into that other room there. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Stomping on him. Yep. Oh, I think, I <laughs> think he's going to oh! him. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it went all red. Oh, we're going to have to get a medical crew back there to check on Just Joe. His perfect smile might have just been set. <laughs> Set sideways. Wow, brutal, eh? Oh man! Oh no! <laughs> oh well, we'll uh, we'll have to update you as soon as we hear an ambush by the uh, the shit roster there. Muppet Pac-Man <laughs> making his presence felt, going after just Joe. But now back to ringside. Here comes Satterfield. Uh, can you go back to the other version so I can yes. hear again, Jim? Yes. This music's a lot better when you've got headphones on. Uh, could you could you actually restart that stream? It's not working for me. I can. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Fender, the champion, the sailor, 
Now it's working. Glorious. And they are the tag team champions, the two heads champions, Frost Lord and Clavius. Hashtag mighty or corporate AF, excuse me. <laughs> and you got to believe after that vicious chair shot that just Joe suffered at the hands of Muppet Pac Man, is he going to come back with Clavius's eyebrows? We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> yeah, the tag team champs, unbelievable. Glory, Night Demon. Glory upon thee. <laughs> Yeah, Satterfield, Satterfield's solo entrance is glorious, isn't it? <laughs> I believe there's also a uh, cash prize for the uh, the winner. Not the winner's coach or the winner's social media manager, <laughs> but the actual winner. He's going to win something like 10 million science, I, I was told. All right, yeah. Pretty impressive stuff. Yeah, it's a pretty big cash prize for, uh, for indie wrestling. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. I wonder if science yeah. will do something in Blood Bowl 3, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah, me too. And here we go, Satterfield. Handicap match. At least it's not Tornado Tag. Can he assert dominance with his big size there on the littler man, Clavius? I don't know about asserting it, but he might insert it. <laughs> All right, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and there he goes. He just runs right through Clavius on that one, puts him on his ass, but instantly countered on that chin breaker. <laughs> Cal now, Clavius just looks happy to be there, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, sure does. But now the tag into Frost Lord. Double team move coming here. Big back body drop. Yep. And they put him on his ass, and this is where that, that handicap match really comes into play. Frostlord fresh, Satterfield is not, and has no outlet. Yeah, look at Ruff. But he's a hell of a competitor, is old Satura Feld. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and as long as you don't look at his feet, it's pretty easy to take him seriously. Oh, man. Damn you. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he's, why does he have baby feet? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> but it's perfect. He's got a gigantic crotch. So more than makes up for it. <laughs> oh! That well, would hurt were they normal-sized feet. <laughs> yeah, even even more so with smaller, cause it's a smaller contact area, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That is true, Jim. Yeah. PSI, I guess. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, oh. say what you will about Satterfield, though. I know we ha we formerly had a tag team in the JFW called Dress for Business. I'm going to go out on a limb and say Satterfield is the best dressed wrestler in the <laughs> JFW. Yeah, that's fair. His 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 t shirt is a work of it's not a t shirt, his <laughs> shirt is a work of art, isn't it? Yeah, that's the uh that's the that's the curse night demon. Oh look at this though, Satterfield going top rope here. Oh good lord. Oh the humanity oh, no, yeah, no. yeah, okay. The oh. cooler head No wait, yeah. no the humanity. Oh, no, 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 we're good, we're good. Okay, cooler <laughs> I thought we were going to witness uh, the Hindenburg V2 up there. <laughs> That's a bit of brain worms. Whoa! Oh, maybe should have thought about jumping on him, though, because he just got his ass beat back out there. <laughs> yeah. Satterfield is, uh, uh, is German for yo-yo, so uh, <laughs> it does make sense. <laughs> Oh <laughs> Fair man! Enough, <laughs> I assume uh, I assume you train him similar to how Fast trains people playing Blood Bowl. You make him <laughs> climb to the top rope and then just start screaming at him until he wants to leave. <laughs> oh, and in comes Clavius. <laughs> yep. 
Oh, nearly. Two count kick out. Satterfield doing quite well in this handicap match. Again, got to be it thankful is, yeah. that it is not a uh, tornado attack. Oh, nice DDT on Clavius there. <laughs> yeah. Has he got his finisher ready? And that's why. Yeah, it looks like it. Is that. Oh, no. Here oh, it is. Here it comes. Black mask coming. But uh, Frostlord is right there to stop this pinfall. So no, he's, he's not even going to try. He just has a sit down, man. <laughs> a little sit down. Recovers himself. <laughs> big elbow. Another big elbow coming. He is fired up right now. He really is. You know what? Not a bad strategy. Oh, God. This is. <laughs> not a bad strategy to just forego trying to pin him. When he knows it's going to get broken up, when instead he can just inflict as much damage as possible Absolutely. before losing. I can understand <laughs> that. I can understand that a little bit. Yeah. I remember when I used oh, yeah. to play I, this game, I would, uh, I, would do, I would hit my finisher, then I would spear the guy up the tag team partner and then go for the pin. So, you know, maybe that's Absolutely. what he's going to do. He's got the gigantic knee coming up now. Whoa. Oh, beautiful. Now he's got to go for that pin. Here it comes. Frostlord's going to be right there. Oof. No, Frostlord slow to get in the ring. Clavius saves himself. You're absolutely right, humorous chimp. Fresh baked cookies. <laughs> Something to keep you going. <laughs> another sit down oh, for Sutter to... down. Probably a bad time for that one. Yeah. No boy. Oh. Classic Clavius right there. He it invented is. that maneuver. He did. Vintage Clavius. Yep. <laughs> no, kick out though from Satterfeld. He's not gonna give up that easily. <laughs> This is a heroic effort. Sure is, Jim. Definitely didn't walk away for a second there. <laughs> oh, look at this, though. This huge power bomb coming. Oh. Nope. No, oh. he flips him over, drops uh. him on the ropes. It could have been a lot of cooler moves I think he could have done there, Jim. Yep. Yep, that was a pretty lame move, all things considered. <laughs> and he's paying for it now. No! Oh, 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 and no busted way. open. Oh, dear. Well, I think that's about all she wrote for Satterfield. Yeah. Yep, and he got stunned by that one. No surprise there. Arcleo out of nowhere takes him out. Clavius and Frostlord, your two heads champions, are victorious in this two-on-one handicap match. Yeah, it was but, a hey, good performance, I mean, Satterfield. I gotta say, that's probably, in in all the matches that the, the Unnatural Snackers have won and lost, that actually <laughs> might have been Sat one of Satterfield's better performances. He has mm. struggled to compare to J5 as of late, and this was a pretty good showing. It was indeed. <laughs> All right, well, Mighty AF, hashtag Corporate AF, on a roll right now. Tag Team Champions and victorious over a single man. Congratulations. <laughs> Yeah. Add that one to your uh, <laughs> to your card. <laughs> what an incredible victory for them. <laughs> and now proper tag team match coming up here. Das Hots versus Cock and Ball Torture and Sheila making a rare appearance. Das Hots have uh, been a little bit mired as of late trying to get back on TV. They were they've been at the top of the card 
in the two heads division for so long, but with dress for business basically shouting everyone else down <laughs> and uh, the unnatural snackers being the heart and soul of the JFW, it's um, you know, it's hard to separate yourself. So here's a great time for them to uh, to uh, make a case that they should be uh, vying for corporate AF's titles. But they've got cock and ball torture in their future, and that's not something that uh, most people look forward to. And, uh, of course, cock and ball torture teaming up with table leg wanger, showing a bit of unity there on Monday night. Uh, seems likely that uh, that tag team and wanger, cock and ball and wang torture, uh, <laughs> they might be a thing now. The, the, the hashtag uh, Team Fantastic 2.0 maybe, Jim. Maybe. Cock, ball, and wang, don't you? That's fucking unbelievable. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, one day I'll open chimp. One day. Maybe. Yeah, again, always hard to separate yourself from the pack in the JFW. So many, especially in the tag division. It's such a good tag team division. Even with the fucking rats and dress for business being uh, basically vacated from it, still hard to find TV time for a lot of these up and coming tag teams. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, a win here and there in the in the lower cards is, will really do uh, most of these guys wonders. But right now, I gotta believe Das Hots knows if they can get a win here, they've got clear sailing to the top of the tag team division. Yeah. The sea nutty wizard. J Stand with us there, Dad. Hey, Jim. Pardon? Yeah, sorry. I just he's, he's worked it out. The J F W E and B F E B F E wrestling worked it out. I didn't hear a word you just said there. The guy who was asking how to fill it in and said he couldn't fill it in. He's he's worked it out. So that's nice. Oh, okay. It? Okay. Good. 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 And here they come, cock and ball torture. They always make a good entrance. Yeah. Sheila in the background. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> That's all right, Jim. I, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I love this entrance. I love how they lick within almost within six inches of each other. <laughs> a little bit socially responsible about the uh, the whole uh, COVID thing, I guess. <laughs> And here we go, the whoop the country wizard <laughs> Oriolensis against Cocky. Yep, he's definitely the country wizard. Cock versus country. Here we go. <laughs> Vicious neck crank. Absolutely. Crowd instantly drained out of this. I think the crowd is powered by Jim's emotions. <laughs> oh, dear. No, it's the shitty wizard, though, Bizzle. Yeah, shitty. Welcome to shitty walk. All right. You don't have to be racist about it. <laughs> <It's not. laughs> oh, it looks like Oriolens has hurt his ass there when he went. Did you see that, Jim? Yeah, I wouldn't surprise you, would it? I kind of writhed a bit there. I mean, that is eight feet of concrete to land on. It's not nearly as dangerous as the 30 feet of concrete that we <laughs> fight on top of it. Uh, shit, but uh, it's still something, Jim. Yeah. Oh, God. Hammered him off there. 
Oh. A couple furious fists going around right now. The funny thing is, is he supports Man United, right? So the City Wizard, he would hit him. That would be brilliant. Oh. <laughs> Should make a light All blue right. wizard called, called the Shitty Wizard. <laughs> Shitty Wizard and Country Wizard. <laughs> Seven count there by the ref, and now the Country Wizard able to tag in Cowboy Aline Guerra, who has no effect whatsoever going after Kaki. <laughs> Yeah. Sky blue. Shitty wizard. Oh, big claws line. Big. Just the one count on that early pin there by Lean Gara. Lean Gary, of course, with his empty holster there, you'd think if he took his pistol with him, he'd have a much better oh. chance of winning the match, wouldn't you? Oh, ref down and gets flat. And well, Jim, I, I'm pretty sure most uh, most federations, I know this is America, but uh, most federations are not going to let, let live ammunition into the ring for a match. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I am quite surprised about that. Surely they wouldn't Ooh. cry about their Second Amendment and stuff. Well, it depends where you are. Right now we're in Biloxi, Missouri, so it is actually a bit unbelievable that a gun wouldn't be allowed into the ring. But, uh... <laughs> Fair enough. And the tag into the country <sighs> wizard. Tag team move Whoa. coming here. Look at this one. Oh, oh. Sets him up. Big boot. And Mordam just gets flattened. Vicious knee strike there. We've seen that in matches before, Jim. And now the Country <laughs> Wizard throttling the literal fucking goblin. Oh, Dropping elbow. those elbows. Oh, just the one tonight. Big overhand right. This is uh, oh. impressive stuff from... The country wizard, Oriel Ensis. Sure is. Yeah, Das Hot really want to really wanna make it known that while the tag team uh, uh, landscape has changed dramatically in the last few weeks, they ain't going anywhere. And uh, they're going to be challenging, I think, for a very long time to come. Don't know what the fuck's happening here. Uh, uh, you're weird. That's a weird uh, move, isn't it? It's a weird maneuver. Hey, it's you. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I'm sure that's been said at some point already. <laughs> yeah. Right, dude. All right, and sent to the outside, the country wizard. What's more damn going to do? He does like going to that top rope frequently. He's just going to. He also likes standing there like a dickhead frequently. <laughs> Yep, he's just going to follow him out. And get elbowed in the face. And get elbowed. Well done, Mordam. <laughs> it's a three count. Will we see a, a count out of some variety? It's been a while since a, since a tag yeah. team match ended in controversy, but this could be the time. Well, it was Das Hot that innovated that count out. Uh, win. Ooh. Oh, he busts open Moradam there. Oh. We're up to six here. What a maneuver. Oh, this is going to be pretty close. Looks like Moradam is going to put him back in right now. No, maybe not. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. And they're at the steps. Oh, dear, Jim. Ref slowing down that count. Yep. Oh, <laughs> just unloading here. Oh, no. Is, Double is count out. In? Country Wizard trying. Double, ah! <laughs> double count out. The double count out. You hate to see it. There's your match. I think we're going to see more from these two teams, Jim. But uh, right there, no one was in much hurry. Just brawling on the outside. The country wizard and the literal fucking goblin not paying attention to the ref at all. A double count out is the result. <laughs> yeah. And uh, both Lean Gary and Cocky looked absolutely furious at the end there. All right, and here we go, folks. <laughs> a triple threat, three of the very best in the heavyweight division. Could one of these men be the next guy up to challenge 
Tony plays poorly for the World Heavyweight Champion. On one hand, you've got the Golden Figur. Don't know what he did to get in here, but he's around. <laughs> On the other hand, you've got Dave who won that 10-man Royal Rumble on Sunday night to keep his job. You'd think a guy who's just better than nine other people but worse than everyone else in the opinion of the bosses <laughs> wouldn't be on that fast train to success, but here we go. And then, of course, you've got Unseen Walker coming off an awesome win last week, coming off an even more awesome win in the main event of shit on Wednesday night, defeating Tarsus. A name they don't like set around here too much. No, they don't. But hey, it was it was a JFW wrestler who took him out of his own tournament, so you can't feel too bad about that. That's it's a good point. Walker. It's the Golden Figor, and it is Dave. Dave. Yeah, I didn't mean to imply any shade being thrown at the Golden Figure. He definitely does have that name as being one half of the greatest match in JFW <laughs> For history. Fuck's sake. The backstage you should jump. not have mentioned that, Ansi. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go there anyway, Jim. <laughs> of course you were. <laughs> but, uh, but hasn't done a whole lot since. He has been uh, in a few matches. He was featured in a uh, big man, little man match a few weeks ago. But uh, here he is. A win here would be huge for the Golden Fagor. Yep. <laughs> Gorilla Bingo. <laughs> is uh, is uh, Jim Spingo just uh, 27 or whatever squares of uh, yep? <laughs> you, you win it in the opening uh, opening match. Oh, you dirty Dino. No, there's other things. Oh, yeah, yawning. I forgot about yawning. <laughs> Occasionally going, oh, Skiro, you're so good at this. <laughs> you win it on the 27th yet. <laughs> I love this entrance. Oh, and uh, ham fistedly saying, hashtag Jimmy is the real champ. Even hashtag Jimmy's the real champ. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> robbed by, uh, robbed by Wanger he was. You gotta, you gotta remember to then check the chat to see if uh, Cocky is currently watching to support you. Otherwise, you won't have any support. <laughs> well, uh, I think, I think someone's gonna, gonna uh, maybe, do it. Maybe more damn, maybe more damn to pick that up from him. Yep. Look. Yep. Yeah, hashtag Jimmy's the real champ. There you go. Someone said it. <laughs> well, yeah. Fair, fair, fair enough, Jim. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> the shiny face is great. Oh yeah, what a manoeuvre, there you go. Say some things. Oh my god, guys, he's, he's coming out of the stage. <laughs> Easy, L. <yeah. laughs> Your Boston accent is impeccable. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, don't forget second best European uppercut. uppercut. Whoa! Well, I'm saying that that's that's what happens. Is I'll say that's one of the oh, prettiest upper, uh, say, European yeah. uppercuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah second Come best. On, yeah, sorry, sorry. I'll say some things, mostly, mostly related to yawning and yapping. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, well, hey, that, that's, be, that's better than me. In fairness, though, to Jim, that's better than me always yelling AA. Because <laughs> <laughs> in my mind, it still should just be an AA for who he is, what he looks like, and how much I hate the finish of most of his matches. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, he's not a Norse, he's a slayer elf. He's like a dwarf slayer. You'll you'll be able to see more like when he's in the match there, look, he's just he's just short, isn't he? He's just a little short he's guy. A, Scot a Scottish Mexican wrestler, unseen walker, and Golden Fagor just laying everyone out early on in this match. <laughs> the ginger canut is fucking jacked. Is this uh is this single elimination or is this uh, uh it's just a oh, standard oh. triple threat. First okay. pin wins. I, I forgot. I couldn't remember. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, you didn't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He is a ginger country kind of guy. Yeah. Look at this. A bit of moonwalking from Golden <laughs> Fagor. <laughs> He's creep, creep, creeping on Dave, and it seems effective. <laughs> got him off guard. Got him in that arm bar. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. You don't mind if I go and get a hot chocolate, do you, Gorilla? I don't really think I can stop you, Jim. <laughs> That's true. Well, you can, you, can, you can carry the show by yourself, can't you? You can do without a yawn I'll, and a I'll yeah. Tr I'll try. Yeah, I'll yeah, try. try. I'll see what I can do. All right, don't All right, mention, just don't mention shit, okay? <laughs> right, goodbye. All right, I'll do what I can do. All right, and here we go. Dave going for the pin. Hey, folks, what was your favorite match Wednesday night on shit? Skirmetso's high-intensity tournament. Four incredible matches. My personal favorite was that opening bout. Skirmetso versus Wolfbark. Some, some great back and forth but also some great dominance by Skaramezzo, the founder, co-founder of shit. Great match, great result. Can't wait to see him advancing down that uh, down that bracket. Yeah, no surprise there, Night Demon. Your favorite was, oh my goodness. Dave just threw the Golden Fagor over the ropes and out of the ring, and now this fight spills to ringside. Yeah, Tarsus Unseen Walker was probably the most stressful match of the night. Back and forth, that submission match. And seeing Tarsus lock in three submission maneuvers and all of them getting rope breaks, he really had a chance to win that match. But it was Unseen Walker with that beautiful dragon sleeper that came away with it. And here's the pin. Oh, God. Unseen Walker double axe handle to Dave's balls to break that pin up. And then missing wildly on a man lying on his back as he tries to hit the cross body for some reason. Golden Vigor, only man on his feet right now. Uh, good to hear from Muppet Pac-Man. By the way, we saw that savage attack on Just Joe backstage earlier tonight. Gotta still be furious, an open wound from losing his belt a week ago on Friday, stand firm, and then losing his job to help seemingly protect the newest member of hashtag corporate AF. But Muppet Pac-Man has yet to debut on shit, but we have been confirmed that he is in that tournament. Cannot wait to see his first match in a week or two. And Dave with the pinfall, but Unseen Walker able to kick out of it. And, oh, the Superman punch from Golden Fagor in the pinfall here. And Dave, a late kick out. Unseen Walker is completely out of it right now. Needs to recover to try and get back in this match. Or Golden Fagor might run away with it. Whoa! And he's controlling everyone right now. Oh, this is, in oh, this is bad. Pinfall right on Unseen Walker. Two count kick out. Oh, no, and here it comes. Golden Fagor with the spear nails it. Hits Unseen Walker. A movie uses himself, and here's the pinfall attempt. And the two-count kick out again. I thought that was it. Unseen Walker stays alive. The match continues. And Dave back in it. Big slam there. And now he's laying into uh, Unseen Walker with those vicious punches and the chop. Oh, no, but he's hung up and dropped on those ropes. And now Unseen Walker, opportunist, trying to get the pin here. Might have had better luck with the Golden Fagor, it looks like. Oh, brrr, drops the hammer there. <laughs> that sounds about right, Night Demon. <laughs> Oh, Golden Vigor here, opportunistic pin on Dave, just a two-count kick out. Unseen Walker back on his feet outside. He's rallying, folks, but Golden Vigor is fired up right now. He's laying out Dave. Oh, that jumping clothesline. 
And now, Golden Fagor versus Unseen Walker. Big power bomb coming here. No, Crucifix power bomb. Oh, dear. No, sit down. And now, Superman punch called for by the Golden Fagor. On to Unseen Walker. He sticks the landing. Unseen Walker is down. He does not go for the pin. Dave recovering here. Oh, he's pinning the wrong guy again. And Unseen Walker breaks it up anyway. Somebody's going to have to do something here to the Golden Fagor. Oh, no. Outweighs uh, Unseen Walker. Dave trying to rally here. Will we see that ridiculous finisher of Dave's? No, he's just going to kick the ref in the head. Oh, dear. Oh, Dave. Dave just took the ref out. <laughs> Big spine buster, though. Uh, no pinfall going to come here with that ref line on his back. Well, he's going to try one. Doesn't even get a one count by my book. And now Dave, the only man standing, including the ref right now. Wow, oh, what a dominant performance from Dave. Absolutely. This is some great stuff, Jim. <laughs> Oh, no, a low shot on Unseen Walker. Again, Unseen Walker just had a marathon match on Wednesday night in the main oh. event of shit. Oh, but look at the this. And this is exactly how he won that match. Ref has regathered himself. Will he get the submission here? No, Dave able to hang on and fight out of it. We've seen that move end shit matches before, Jim. <laughs> yes, we have. Oh, and now Unseen Walker out of the ring, pin on J. Can Styles, but no, the Golden Fagora kicks out, and Dave, the only man standing here, if he can hit his finisher with Unseen Walker outside the ring, it's over. Yep. But it doesn't look like, oh, oh no, I'm Ooh. sorry, it is come. No, that wasn't it. No, that wasn't it. it. That was, it was a, a good move. Six. Absolutely. He is going to go for the pin off of this one. Un Unseen Walker trying to get in. Oh. And he does. I think he had it. I think Unseen Walker saved the match there, Jim. Maybe. But now Dave sticking last the boots to him. save there. <laughs> yeah, he's paying for it, but he kept himself alive, I got to believe. Golden Fagor is out. Whoever can get a, a quick advantage here might get the win. Oh, and it looks like it could be Dave. Look at this suplex. Oh. oh, he stalls it, drops him on the Golden Fagor practically. And <laughs> yeah. now, oh, Golden Fagor to his knees. And Dave not even attempting the pin. No. Well, Golden Fagor is more dangerous when he's on his knees. <laughs> oh, beautiful counter into a power bomb. Yeah. Oh, and he steals oh, and in for the he's, pin. Yeah, he's going to pick the bones, but no. Unseen Walker kicks out Dave outside of the ring, completely out of it. He cocks up his hand for some stupid ass reason. <laughs> oh, and here we go. Unseen Walker counters, gets up. No, gets countered again, hit in the back of the head. And sent out of the ring. Golden Fagor pursues him out of the ring. Dave just sitting there. He's in La La Land. <laughs> He sure is, Gorilla. Well, now Golden Fagor has got the advantage. Dave has recovered. Whoa. Oh, and he comes in big boot. He steams in with a boot. Yeah, incredible. Sure does. And now that buys Unseen Walker a chance to recover. Oh, there's, oh, the, there's finisher. the finisher. Dave's in. Count it, Rev. He's got to count. He's done he it. gets it. Dave. Dave Glorious. wins it. He wins no, it with that fall-down slim finisher. Unbelievable. And you I can't make defend. this up. The story defend. of Dave continues. Dave. <laughs> what a win for Dave. Dave. Unseen Wonker just couldn't go the distance again. Had that hellacious match Wednesday night in the main event of shit and just couldn't finish it off. Golden Bagora, a very dominant performance, but he got double teamed at the end there. And he was out for the count. And Dave is your winner tonight. What a match. Incredible stuff. And during that, thank you very much, Rora Rainbow, for staying fantastic for 28 months, seven Hulbiva pregnancies. And happy Rusev Day to you, too. Thank you very much.
Rory Rimbo must have really enjoyed all our shit talk while you were gone, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did talk about shit, did you? you no, no, no. I meant shit talk. Like, we were shit talking people. Yeah. Don't worry. We didn't talk about shit at all. Don't, don't watch Take the VOD. Don't watch the VOD, all right. <laughs> never watch the VOD. Let's be real here. Oh, that's no, true. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the main event now? I believe it is time for the main event. Tony oh, plays oh, oh. poorly versus Johnny Faith. This is non-title, standard match, no managers. Earlier, we saw hashtag corporate AF take out Satterfield two on one. A very nice performance by Satterfield, but they're all done for the night. This is mono e mono, friend versus friend. Uh, Army versus Air Force. I don't give a fuck which service they were in. They did something. <laughs> <laughs> they did something and now they're gonna fight <laughs> well we've kind of always been that way Ancy. we'll have to see I gotta believe I, if you're asking me to book a heavyweight match right now I gotta believe the man who's 2-0 and this week Dave is top of the charts I want to see be, Dave versus Tony personally it's got to be Dave. But first Ooh. off, J5. <laughs> <laughs> no pancakes tonight. He is all business. Can't you tell? He's got his ducky. He's got his towel. And he's got his pimp cane. <laughs> <laughs> Thank who for whose service helped me. <laughs> I think he's talking about waitresses. You've got, you've got, you tip them a standard in America, don't you? No, oh, yeah, yeah, you got to tip them because uh, we made laws so that you don't have to pay them anything if you're the, <laughs> the business owner. Yeah. It's really fucked up. Yeah. Whereas in England, I only give them a tip if they've earned it. I, I thought even that was like kind of frowned upon. I've always been told just do not tip when you go to Europe. Oh no, no, you can tip them if you, like, you know, if you've got a bit left, you tip them anyway. Yeah, I usually like when I like when I was like in a pub or something. If I had like change coming because I don't like your weird metal money, I would just <laughs> leave it on the table for them, yeah. which is probably how I lose. Like because you guys have like British pound coins, and it's like uh, I probably left like fifty bucks on a table. At one point. <laughs> Yeah, not in a pub, yeah, only like food and stuff. Ah, right. uh, okay. Yeah, I only give them the tip, yeah, just the j just give them the tip. <laughs> just the tip. Yeah. <laughs> Fair, enough. Fair enough. And there he is, big match Tony. I'll say. I enjoyed the <laughs> I enjoyed the <laughs> I can't even say it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, well played, Jim. Well played. <laughs> no, it would be too naughty for t too naughty for TV. <laughs> there he is, the man who built JFW. Absolutely. You can't say enough about uh, Tony plays poorly, and believe me, we've tried. Uh, he just keeps winning. He doesn't lose. He now has the big boss, Mr. Jim McMahon, uh, in his corner. But not right There's now. There's no stopping this guy. <laughs> Whoever can get that title away from him is uh, going to... Uh, <laughs> it's going to take a Herculean effort. That's for damn sure, Jim. Absolutely. Probably take a bit of predetermining, to be honest. <laughs> oh, Jesus, more damn. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Well, J5 has the size advantage here. Tony plays poorly, probably has the strength advantage. Looks like he spends a little more time in those weight rooms. Uh, well, you've ruined Jim for the rest of the night. <laughs> oh, and very evenly matched there, but there oh, runs right through. Whoa. What's this? 
Oh, hey, hey, look at this shithead! That's a that's Skurmetso of shit! He's here! He's here! He's coming for Tony, it looks like! He's probably gonna get his ass kicked. Oh, oh my god! A power bomb. Oh, it's a DQ! The ref calls the DQ! When do you ever see a DQ? <laughs> The pop of power bomb. Tony gets the win over Johnny Five, but Skuro making his presence felt. Shit is officially here. Shit has hit the fan, and I am shocked that that ended up being a DQ. Oh wow. <laughs> oh dear. Well, the main event spoiled tonight. Tony plays poorly. Your winner, I guess. <laughs> J Five. J Five. Not. <laughs> Not arguing that one. J5 <laughs> <laughs> look, looking like he's ready to take nine inches of pain from Moridan. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, shit has come for the JFW. You remember his promise on Sunday night was not just to put on a great tournament for everyone. It was to make Mr. Jim McMahon feel the pain and have to listen to the JFW universe. And now he's making his presence felt. Who knows what that means for the future? All I know is that is it for Friday night. Stand firm. My name is Gorilla Mezzo. Thank you as always for having me, Jim. I'll send it back to you now. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.